All right. Wow. It's already that time again. Art Mondays, as I've come to call them. Might need a better name eventually, but gets the job done. Yeah, there's This is number four, which is surprising. It felt like it's it hasn't been that long, but, but it has, I guess. And today's was a little bit... I broke the rules. I was creating the work for over an hour, actually. Typically, I try to do it in a 30-minute interval because that's how long my Canon camera lets me record. And I just wanted to keep going with this because it, it kind of started out slow and it didn't really have a direction. I wanted to try out some new stencils and use some cool pencils that I recently got. Um, but I, I think I started too much with the particular and tiny details eventually stuff gets covered up but it was all worth it in in the sense of uh nothing is wasted in these everything's a learning experience and everything ultimately comes around to to benefit the the work in in some way shape or form and i didn't really shy away from mixed media on this i just jumped right into you know pencil pen marker crayon stencils obviously i introduced sharpies uh, eventually and uh, a bunch of other stuff already the symbolism is is coming this is kind of what i wanted to explore just kind of creating f a floral bunch of flowers and use that uh what is that called a, a not a is that a bulldozer yeah that's a no you 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 know like that construction working scoop thing uh, already I, I think the symbolism is kind of showing there having that be in juxtaposition to the flowers and you know I always have to add an I and a question mark and I'm trying to give it framing and uh, now I'm just gonna let you watch as I kind of ramble on about other things because I do want to just kind of talk about my creative process in a more broad sense uh, while I have you here. If you are listening, thank you so much. Uh, this is the fourth video like this, and I can say it has been fun. It has been helpful to put myself out there to share my art online, albeit to a very small audience. At this point, these are getting like 30 views. <laughs> so uh, not a lot, but I don't know. I'm... I'm more just in it as it kind of holds me accountable to at least once a week get my pen to the page. I think I've said this every time so far, and it's effective at that. And it's teaching me things along the way of kind of how I operate, how I work. And this week, I actually felt the desire to draw. It didn't feel like I had to bring myself to it. Um, but introducing the camera did have some component to it that was kind of new and interesting. I will note about the drawing here, I kind of noticed enough connections that I kind of associated it with the uh, fall in the Garden of Eden, you know, the biblical story of Adam and Eve. And for some, for some reason, I, I just thought of uh, the phrase, what the serpent says to Eve, you will not surely die. And for whatever reason, that stuck in my mind, and I felt it important to implement it. Overall, this is still very experimental. I mean, you can see I'm moving the camera around. Some of the shots don't really line up well. I do want to get better, and I do want to thank you for watching this if you have stuck around. I don't want to sound ungrateful. I am I am truly honored to have anybody kind of tune into this, and even 30 people, like I said earlier, to just imagine 30 people present while I work on this is kind of anxiety inducing that's too many people to, to watch me in person so the fact that that number is is already online is is remarkable and special at least to me and i hope uh, you, you see enough potential in this project to stick around and uh, i hope that maybe you're inspired to kind of do your own creative whatever play that that you like and and that's really the end of this video. I titled this piece, Experimental Death. And I hope you like it. I hope you like the video. I'll see you next week. Or I'll, I'll catch you next week.
Make sure to stay hydrated and stretch.